Three three-point shooters, and he have a few of them. There's still plenty of time. But right now, the Lakers with some breathing room. Duncan Robinson, Jimmy Butler, Tyler Hero, Bam Adebayo, and Jay Crowder come in. Goran Dragic can only watch, hoping at some point maybe to come back in the series. Crowder looking for Butler. Good ball denial from Davis. Now Hero gets it. Hero finds Butler inside. Nice setup. Butler throws it down. They're heat down by seven. Davis has it. They got to get it across half court and throw it away. Was it deflected? No. Heat ball with 24.9 remaining. Butler makes his drive, goes inside, blocked by Davis. Caldwell Polk picks it up. Davis has it. Caruso throws it ahead to James. And the Lakers are going to take game four. There's the foul on Robinson. Anthony Davis putting on the finishing touches with his fourth block shot of the game following that huge three-pointer. And the Lakers starting to celebrate. Again, Butler turns the corner. The ability to recover. Anthony Davis with a huge block shot. Pretty much stealing the ball here. I mean, asking a power forward center to guard the most gifted player on the other team. Speaks to his versatility, his concentration, and his otherworldly talent. Well, this one has been a grinded out defensive battle, but here down the stretch, Lakers hitting some big, big shots back up by nine. And they will take a 3-1 lead in these finals. Hero throws it up. That one will go 1.1 remaining. And that'll do it. The Lakers bounce back after that disappointing loss in game three and are back in control of these NBA finals. Anthony Davis, a slow start in this one after a rough game three. LeBron James, same thing, but both turned it on in the second half. And the Lakers lead at three games to one. A tough loss for Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat. They battle back. They tied it at one point here in the fourth. But here tonight, it was the Lakers that made all the crunch time plays. Not just their stars, but Contavious Caldwell Pope with some very important plays. Jimmy Butler almost had another triple-double. But he right now could care less about that. Much like he could care less about his triple-double in game three. He just wanted us to win. And uh, he'd come up short. And now put themselves in a 3-1 hole. Let's go to Rachel. LeBron, some real physical play in that fourth quarter. Just some high-level basketball. What did it feel like to be out on the floor for that? Felt like a finals game. Felt like both teams was desperate. Understanding the situation, they both put themselves in. And uh, trying to get every extra possession, you know, execute offensively, try not to make mistakes defensively. And um, that's what it was all about. You got some great contributions from players like KCP, Rajon Rondo, Alex Caruso out there. What do you see out on the floor when all the guys like that are clicking? I mean, we're a team who just hold each other accountable. KCP's three, right by their bench. His layup right there uh, from the top of the key with the shot clock going down. Those finish, and then those uh, penetration and kick that kickback for AD. And AC is just always, he all over the court. And... Uh, we needed every cent and every second from our uh, from our bench, from our starters, um, and to get this night nice, get get to nice win. Anthony Davis also coming up with some big defensive plays in addition to the offense. When you were watching him do that through the game, you're I see you in his ear. What kinds of things are you guys saying to each other? Well, I mean between uh, me and AD, we hold each other to a standard that no one else can hold up us to. And that's what it's all about. Uh, he challenges me every night. I challenge him every night. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter if the ball is going in. We have to do things to help our team win. Defensive end, offensive end. And uh, uh, he did that tonight. He was spectacular. Taking, uh, taking a challenge on Jimmy to start. 
and then anytime he got switched onto a guard, just containing them, getting block shots, giving us uh, extra possessions offensively. You were tweeting in the middle of the night the other night saying you couldn't sleep, your mind was still racing, you were trying to keep that edge. You now have an extra day's break between this and the next finals game. How do you and the team keep the edge to close things out? Um, because we understand what's at stake. I mean, um, the job is not done. And, um, you know, we get an opportunity to get our bodies back up underneath us with an extra day of rest, but also keep our minds sharp. And I'm looking forward once again to looking at the film tomorrow, um, do all around the clock treatment, and, uh, and treating it like we play Thursday. I'm going to continue to get the work in. I'm going to continue to not sleep until the job is done. So look forward to the next match. All right. Thanks so much, LeBron. I appreciate, appreciate it. it. Back to you, Mike. All right, Rachel. Lakers once again bounce back here in these playoffs after a loss. They lost game one against Portland, then won four in a row. They lost game one against Houston, then won six in a row. Lost game three to Denver, won four in a row. And now after losing game three to Miami, they bounce back with a win and have a chance to win the championship on Friday. Yes, Davis and James made big plays, but the supporting cast instrumental. Contavious Caldwell Pope had a terrific all-around game, but several big plays at both ends down the stretch. Danny Green was hot early. You heard LeBron James credit Caruso, and then Rajon Rondo once again, such a good facilitator down the stretch. And the Lakers, one win away from their 17th championship. And that game will be Friday night, extra day off. Of course, we'll have it for you at ABC. Final score here from game four, the Lakers 102 and the Heat 96. For Mark Jackson, Jeff Van Gundy, Rachel Nichols, producer Tim Corrigan, director Jimmy Moore, and our entire ABC crew, Mike Brain saying we'll see you Friday for game five. Thank you for watching ABC, home of the NBA Finals.